Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with men's tennis. With us, head coach Chad Berryhill. And coach, first of all, uh, first time here in the spring on the men's side, and, and welcome back to the show. Uh, thanks for having me. Bulldogs uh, certainly off to a, a great start this spring, 8-2 and two overall, 5-0 uh, and oh unbeaten in the conference. And uh, just, just talk about the start you've had on the men's side. Just sure, right. the guys have been... Uh been working really hard. I mean, they've been itching to play ever since uh, practicing in the fall. But yeah, we're off to a great start. Uh, our only two losses are to Division One schools. Uh, played Toledo really tough, but lost 4-3. And we played Western Michigan really tough, despite losing 7-0. Uh, we competed hard. Um, our goals this year are to win the GLIAC. Uh, we haven't won the regular season GLIAC, I think, since 1999. So that's definitely on the forefront of everyone's mind. But uh, you know, having a great year so far, and hopefully it continues for the rest of the season. This past weekend, I uh, had a chance uh, to play at home again in front of the home fans at the Racket and Fitness Center. And uh, first of all, Lake Superior State on Saturday, and uh, a decisive Bulldog win. Uh, talk about Saturday's match. Yeah, you know, we we haven't played really since a month. We had a spring break trip, uh, spring break trip that got canceled, so the guys were itching to play. Uh, we kind of tapered off practice. We had a lot more fun uh, the week before, and I think that paid off. We also had two guys on our team and Raz Mag and Serge Laza that are Lake State transfers. So they had uh, a lot to gain. They wanted to look good in front of their former team. So they played well. And uh, we just made it our goal to really go out and, and play really hard and have a decisive win. And the guys did that. We didn't drop more than three games in a single match. The guys really came out and, and took it to them. You came back on uh, Sunday, and obviously Michigan Tech always uh, traditionally one of the one of the better teams in the conference, and and another uh, big win for the Bulldogs as we have some footage of that match, and certainly uh, uh, another great match for the Bulldogs. Yeah, Michigan Tech is a solid team. They they tend to do really well in the doubles, so we made that a, a main emphasis, and the guys really came out and played uh, played the way they should have. Uh, making a lot of first serves and playing through the middle of the court. So we got off 3-0 uh, in doubles, which is, is very key, going into singles. And uh, we had some tight matches, but the guys uh, pulled through. We had one three-setter with Tyler Marengo, who's usually really steady at three. And um, his, his opponent played really well, so we lost in a match tiebreak for the third. But uh, overall, the guys uh, played really well, and they're uh, looking forward to play some of the, the better teams in the conference moving forward. Obviously, uh, here in, in tennis, uh, you get stuck playing inside a, a lot of the time at this time of year. Uh, just talk, though, about the home environment here at the Racket and Fitness Center and, and what that means to your kids to play there. Yeah, we've, you know, we've kind of made a transition this year. Our courts are, are traditionally very fast, and they've got resurfaced over the holiday break, so they're a little bit slower than what we're accustomed to. So that's been a transition period for the guys. And we have such great support with having the professional tennis management program. We have a lot of students that come out for that. and. A lot of community support also so it's always great to play at home the guys are obviously very comfortable playing there and now that they've adjusted to the courts and know how to play on them uh, you know they're doing really well so and yeah we're, we, we never know when we're going to be playing outside so we're we're kind of waiting it could be one day of practice and then going outdoors so we're just uh, looking forward to staying indoors as much as possible that kind of suits our game but uh, when it's time to go outdoor we'll be ready as well here against Michigan Tech, uh, you sweep the doubles round, five of the six singles uh, flights go to the Bulldogs. Uh, just talk about up and down the lineup, uh, some of the key contributions of the, that you had. Yeah, we had a good uh, a good win at number one doubles. Michigan Tech has a team that's ranked inside the top 10 in the region. Our doubles team is ranked third. Um, so we knew that was gonna be a tight one and we just kept holding serve and so so did they. And we got a break kind of at the end of the match to, to pull that out eight six. And then at two and three, we've been playing a lot better tennis. Um, you know, we're starting to drive the ball through the court a little bit more and trying to be more aggressive at the net, and that paid off uh, in sweeping the double, so that was, that was key. And in singles, um, Laurent Gallerno at one, he's been doing a great job playing one all year. Um, didn't play so well against Western, but this weekend he, he got back on track and, and played some good tennis. Um, Serge had a very good match on Saturday, Sunday, started out a little bit slow, and and didn't play his, his best, but he's been playing great tennis. Uh, Tyler, like I said earlier, dropped a three-setter. Um, he's always a fighter. Raz had a fever all weekend, so it was good to see him kind of pull through despite being sick. We weren't even sure if he was going to play on Sunday, and he got two wins for us. And um, with Aaron Dial uh, playing number six and Otto playing five with four courts, um, they kind of have to wait around and see how it's going to go. But They've been ready to go the whole season, and we know when we put them out at five and six, we know we've got a really good chance of winning those two matches. So it takes a lot of pressure off the guys playing at the top. 
This week, uh, the Bulldogs on the road and, and three big road matches uh, here in the conference as you travel to Lake Erie uh, to start the start the weekend uh, trip on Thursday. And yep. uh, uh, just talk about this trip and, and how important the wins on the road are. Yeah, we're really excited to get on the road because we haven't had a lot of matches where we've got to stay overnight and had some team bonding. A lot of our trips have been down and back on the road. So I know the guys are looking forward to uh, spend some time together and, and do some things. and. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're trying not to overlook like Erie Walsh and Malone. I mean, uh, they've just kind of new additions to the conference and just starting to get their programs uh, going. But, um, you know, it's going to give a chance for some of our guys that don't normally get to play. They'll get a chance to play a little bit this weekend. And we just need to make sure that we continue to play strong because uh, that following week is when we start playing uh, the Wayne States and the Northwoods. So we're always on the top of the conference. So we need to be making sure we're confident in playing our best tennis going into that. So um, we're trying not to overlook those three teams and, um, and just playing, playing tough and continuing to get better. As a, as a Ferris State alum, what's it, what's it been like for you uh, here this year and, and being able to come back to Big Rapids and yeah, be a part of the tennis program? Yeah, it's great. Um, you know, I'm trying to really, really stress with the guys of tradition uh, the Bulldogs have had. I mean, our men's and women's tennis teams have always done, done extremely well. So we're just trying to bring that back. I know a lot of alums are really excited about what we're doing. They were they were really pumped about them winning the, the conference tournament last year. And I get calls every week. You're gonna take the regular season this year too. And uh, so the guys are, are, are they, they've got that on their mind, but they're trying to take one match at a time. And uh, which that's, what the, that's the approach that we need to have. And, um, but yeah, we're looking forward to what's on the horizon at the end. Uh, always uh, helps uh, as well. Uh, with the fact that you had uh, some returning kids uh, that were familiar with the program, and certainly uh, they have they have helped uh, here along in the process. Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, when you've got a lot of returning guys, they know what to expect. Um, they know how to play in big matches. Even with someone like Serge, who had to sit out last year through a transfer rule, uh, you know, he's he got to practice with the guys all last year, so he's ready to go. And and then having uh, I tease Raz and Otto quite a bit because they were the two guys that clinched the match against Northwood. Raz had to come back being down 5-2 uh, in the third set and then 5-2 in the tie break to, to win that match. And then Otto was down a break in the third and came back and, and pulled it out. So they know what it takes to win big matches. And, um, you know, Laurent at the top and with Aaron kind of coming in at the bottom of the lineup, uh, you know, he can give any, anybody in practice some trouble and he's ready to compete at six. And Laurent, uh, with having the conference player of the year out of the conference now through graduation, he's kind of looking to step up and, and be that next guy. So, And uh, certainly uh, the Bulldogs, uh, a big stretch here on the road this weekend, but uh, looking forward to, to having your team uh, back in the state of Michigan after, <laughs> after hopefully three more wins this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. That's going to do it for another episode of Ferris Sports Update. I'd like to thank all of you for tuning in. A reminder, you can follow all the action online at FerroStateBulldogs.com. Have a great week.